What do you think, brother? Oh, man. <laughs> I can see why you love catfishing. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Wild Hook Adventures. Today, we are on the Muddy River with a special guest. What's up, guys? Well, actually, I'm his guest. <laughs> he invited me out, blindfolded me, and brought me out here. Uh, we're going to try to hook up on some big old flatheads. I hooked up on two small ones and never caught a big one. He felt bad for me, so he said, let's go, I'll, I'll hook you up on something big. Hopefully it's a fish and not something else. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching, enjoy the show. All right, you guys, let me clean off the camera. Got a bunch of mud on there. But we are here to the first spot. Chris is uh, getting ready to cast out. I already got mine in the water. I was a little, uh, eager to get my bait in <laughs> i've never hooked up on a big flat so let's see if today's the day should i throw one a little higher or throw, just throw one like probably like where that little corner is see that corner? yeah throw one right there and then i'll just throw one right here for now yeah, because I don't want to hog up your spots. No, 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 no. I want you to catch the first fish, bro. I could do this all the time. <laughs> like, yeah, until I brought you none. <laughs> I'll be asking for permission. If, hey, bro, are you out there? Can I, can right. I fish my spot? If, if you're going to be at the Muddy River, Chris, I'll make sure not to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me know in advance. <laughs> yeah. Just let me know that way. That way I don't take up your spots. <laughs> Yo, la tira este. What size are you using? Ten. Ten? Mm -hmm. I think mines are nine. I would not recommend double hooks out here, bro. No? No, because you're going to hook a big old flathead and that second hook's going to get hung up. Okay. So you want just one hook. Right. They're going to get wrapped up anyways. Because yeah. Because those big fish, but I'll take one off yeah, of it. Just one, just one hook, bro. That's uh, that's one I learned the hard way. <laughs> you're gonna catch the biggest flathead of your life, and you're gonna get wrapped up, and I'm gonna go swimming. <laughs> you're gonna go swimming for him, bro. I don't mind going for a dunk. If we have to, we have to. But yeah, I'll take one off ahorita when I reel them out. So they like to be in these little deep pockets. Yeah, they like, yeah. This is awesome. Growing up watching Chris's videos, he's not much older than me, so I don't want to make him feel old, but <laughs> growing up, I would watch his videos. I was probably in my 20s when I was watching his videos. And uh, I always wanted to come do some fishing with him. And now in my, in my older, younger years, <laughs> <laughs> We're out here fishing together and it's awesome. Cool, wow. Heck yeah. Sorry. No, you're fine. Was that a shot? Yeah. There's a bait, guys. There you go. Guts exposed. How deep do you think it is here? Probably like three feet. Three feet. That's not too bad. We're well, still drowning it, but <laughs> <laughs> as big as we are. <laughs> yeah, I was I was using this the last time I fished on the on the river over there in between Caballo and Elephant Butte, and that's what I was catching the blues on. Same recipe, just carp soaking in its guts that's what i do a lot of people ask me because they they'll see when i'm when i'm guiding they'll see my bait and it it has this like a red color to it yeah and it's cut up carp and they think i put like cherry kool-aid or yeah. something you know but what i do is i have a bucket at the house i have a like a five gallon bucket and a bar and so like there's a lot of the carp that I don't use, right? I don't use the guts, I don't use the skeleton, I don't use the head anymore when I'm guiding. Yeah. So I'll fillet it. I'll just 
cut a fillet and then cut the fillet in half and throw it in the bottom of the bucket. And then when I have the carcass of the of the of the carp, yeah, I put it. I put the I put the bar through through the gills, and then I hang it over the bucket, oh, and man. all the blood drains in there. There you go. And then I'll put. I can fit three in a bucket, so I'll put three. And by the time I get to my third one, the first one's pretty much drained out. Yeah. And I take him out, and then swap it, and then I get all that blood down in there, and then I and then I bag it. So then it's got that nice rich. Yeah. Red soaked color. in it. Yeah. Yeah. That that blood is what what attracts them. So it makes a lot of sense why you would do that. Oh, last time I was here, you could hear the fish. Oh, when you were smacking it. Oh, what are you doing that? Let me see. Something like that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Let me see. There you go. There it is. Well, that was very nice of you to let me use the two rods. <laughs> <laughs> I love these poles, man. They're awesome. Yeah, the dead pole. Yeah. I thought you're gonna put a, you're gonna put it to the test. Oh the yeah. Flathead on the dead pole rod. Yeah, I've pulled out some nice blues with this one. Mm -hmm. And this one, I want to break it in really good, cause I um. I broke it in at a sled of lakes with some small channels, mm -hmm. but I mean, they didn't stand a chance when I hooked them with that pole. <laughs> I just reeled them in like nothing. They didn't even put up a fight. <laughs> right. So weird the way they, um, the way they hit the bait. They tap it slow and then pull it down slowly. Yeah, you see that rod? Yeah. Start to load up. So different from the blue. Yeah, the blue hit it and wrong with it. Mm -hmm. So what flathead do here? Let me show. I'll show the camera. Here, let me show you guys. I got this bait right here. And this is gonna be a fish swimming in the river just naturally. So one of the things I tell people is when, if you haven't fished for flathead before, and you see them, you see a bite, and you think you're ready to to hook that fish count another 10 seconds because that fish isn't ready yet not all the time sometimes yes right but let me tell you what's happening down underwater so this fish is swimming by right and the flathead strikes like a bass he has a mouth like a bass that lower jaw sticks out above the upper jaw so he he attacks like that so this is the this is the fish swimming by or maybe it's your bait and he hits it boom just like that. <laughs> yep. Fish on. Fish on, guys. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> that didn't take long, brother. No. Nope. That did not take long at all. Got tangled up on my line a little bit. Right at the boat. I know. <laughs> he wouldn't open his mouth for me. Oh, he got tangled up pretty good. Flat hit of the day. It didn't take long. That did not take long at all. Nice. Pretty little guy. Yes, sir. Look at that guy. Very nice. Thank you, Chris. Yes, sir. You want a picture? Yeah. Let me get you a picture real quick. 
first flathead of the day that's my pv right there and we're about to break it later on <laughs> he wouldn't open his mouth for me okay. hello wild hookers <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome hold on splash the lens all right one more look at this flathead guys very nice i'd say maybe eight eight nine pounds yeah eight pounds. a good size Back he goes. Ooh. There we <laughs> he went. Yep. Awesome. Heck yeah. <laughs> and he left my bait on. <laughs> yeah, he's he's being generous. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so anyways guys, I was in the middle of telling you before how his, his flathead bite before he actually bit and then <laughs> Dang it, fish, you ruined the story. <laughs> <laughs> you killed the inspiration. <laughs> so anyways, this fish is swimming along, right? And that flathead comes up, he hits it. Well, now when he hits it, his initial intention is to, to stun it. So when he hits it, he may have it like this in his mouth, but he can't swallow it like this. So then what he'll do is he'll spit it out and suck it back in and he's working it head first that way these these spines don't go in backwards and poke him and get stuck in his throat so almost kind of like what a snake will do is uh, get the head going down first so that's why when when you're using a big bait you just count 10 seconds once you get those 10 seconds you either set your hook or reel down on them like I, I use a circle hook so I reel down to help drag that hook into the corner of the mouth so 10 second rule guys get my bite over here guys that looks like a turtle crab turtle turtle those guys are fierce this year yeah they are look at them yeah yeah that's a turtle maybe not let's see Oh, it wasn't. Nope, not a turtle, guys. <laughs> Woo! Oh, he came off. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, he came off. That was a big one. <laughs> that one was way bigger than mine. <laughs> Dang it. I should have waited a little bit more. You forgot to wait the 10 seconds. Dang. I think I saw that in a YouTube video somewhere. I, I think so. I might have recorded it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to stay here or you want to move? Whatever you choose. You're you're the guide on this one. Let's move spots. All right. See, Rebecca, I can uh, take off one of these hooks on this one too. Now that I have it reeled out before we uh, cast out again on the next spot. Swing and a miss, guys. He was barely hooked. I thought them come on undone, but that's part of the show. I'm still happy just being out here, having fun. We're gonna move spots, guys. I'll catch him in this spot. Oh! Is he coming out? I don't know if that's a fish or if I'm snagged. <laughs> 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 you know, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Somebody else was snagged on this too. Oh, dang. Oh, right in the face. Got fish slapped by by the bait. Oh, I bet I know who Who uses blue line? Oh, sorry. He must have been afraid. <laughs> there we go, more weights. Somebody <laughs> using my rig. <laughs> <laughs> I know who it was. I bet you I know who it was. All right, off to the next spot, guys. We've been through the little maze of tumbleweeds here. so crazy you would never think or expect to find big old fish like that here when i first came in and i found this spot i'm like yeah right 
There's no fish back here. <laughs> you wouldn't think of it. Yeah. yeah it's crazy how there's still tumbleweeds getting back here. Oh yeah. Only thing these little uh, tumbleweeds do is build up and direct it another way. This, this is gonna be a good spot right here. Yeah. Let's go big flathead. What other species of fish are in here besides flats and blues? <clears throat> flats, blues, uh, channels, bullhead, there's carp, there's white bass. Um, I caught a little warmouth in one, one time. Uh, like, have you seen a warmouth? I've like, heard of them, but I've never seen it one. It's like a cross between a bass and a bluegill. Ah, okay. It's like a bluegill, but with a bigger mouth. Oh, huh. that's interesting. Yeah. I made a minnow trap and I caught him in there. <laughs> I saw a goldfish one time, like a koi. No way. Yeah, it was just swimming like on the top. I was telling my buddy, look dude, he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> like, Get the net, we'll scoop him and he's split. But those are the fish that I've seen. Is there large mouth and small mouth in here? I would assume so. Oh. Was that a hit? I saw something. Yeah, look how you land when I slap. I know. Snug it up a little bit. Oh yeah, he's coming to you. Got him. Fish on, man. Fish on. Coming right at you. Oh. <laughs> That's a big boy. <laughs> That's a big one right there. He's gonna do whatever he wants with me right now. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at the band on these poles. <laughs> oh yeah, that's like a 30 pound to use it. Let's see. Come, come say hi, fish. Right? You don't want it. You don't want nothing to do with it. Oh. <laughs> what do you think, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even reel on this guy right now. I'm trying to get him close to the boat. Ooh. What's up, brother? <laughs> Check out this monster flathead, guys. Hey, look at it. It's buddy growling here, he's like me. six foot five, and it's almost as big <laughs> as he is. <laughs> 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 
Awesome job, man. <laughs> Thank you. Holy crap. <laughs> How was that fight, bro? That was intense. <laughs> trying to get the... You can set him down. Here, let me get him. Hold on, pick him up. Holy crap. I didn't think he was that long. Okay, hold on. Okay. <sighs> yeah, just set him down. Get that hook out. Look at this tail, guys. Look how big the tail is. There we go. <laughs> Dang. Look at that fish, guys. Whoo! That is a beast. That is my PB for sure. It's up for 40s, bro. Easy. Damn. Trying to show them off to the camera, but I can't. <laughs> Hold them so you can show it or lay them right here. Watch. Lay, them, lay them right here. Right on that middle side. <sighs> He's as long as the dang boat. Dang. Holy moly. Damn, my arms got tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're already tired, oh, man. Let's go back. Kind Heck no, I want more. <laughs> <sighs> Dang, awesome job, brother. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fish lap. <laughs> <laughs> he was really proud. Oh, yeah. He slapped you good, bro. <laughs> Slap me right in the arm. <laughs> he said, that's what you get. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, that's awesome, Woo. man. Thank you, man. You it, Deeply yes, appreciated. Sir. Yes, sir. Ah. <laughs> Couldn't have caught that guy without you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> he was, he kept going under the boat. Oh, so yeah. it was hard for me to try to reel on him. He's all over the place, man. Yeah. <laughs> and that's awesome, man. <laughs> yeah, I knew we'd pull one out of this little spot. I've been trying to get one on this one, and they keep going for this one. <laughs> it's like if they know. Yeah, they're avoiding it. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. That was awesome, man. Thank you. I don't think I'll be able to top that one, and if I do, that'll be impressive. Hey, there's no negativity of that on this boat, bro. <laughs> He's already giving up. It's only like 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm not giving up. I'm just... I don't think I'll beat that one. Okay, then. I guess you won't. And then, here, check your rods out, and I'll fish. Right? <laughs> I'll beat it for you. <laughs> I guess they are liking this, uh, oh, yeah, they this carp soaked in the they juices. Yeah. It was weird because he didn't even tug. He just swam off with it. Yeah, he swam upstream with it. Mm -hmm. Let me put this in a better spot. That one was a beast. Weeds. Oh no, look. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> We're over here messing around. I'm all up there. I'm a little fat. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> See, his name is Weeds, bro. <laughs> his name is Weeds. <laughs> That's a good nickname. This I got is, your pull. This is Weeds and he was messing with my mind. <laughs> Heck yeah. There Could we be go. Left out, bro. <laughs> right? Check it out, guys. Another nice flathead. <laughs> this little guy right here. <laughs> That's about the size of the first one. Yours was a little bigger. Was it? Yeah. This a he has a Y on his on his whisker. Yeah. There's, I'm starting to see that more on these fish. Yeah? yeah. Huh. Cool. Helps him navigate the muddy water better. Later, guy. Weeds. <laughs> Later, weeds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I think it's just the weeds. Right? <laughs> Ooh, that guy tore up my fingers. Did he? Oh, yeah, that's, that's when you know you had a good day of flathead fishing. Bro. Oh, yeah. I'm not complaining. Day, your knuckles are going to be all torn up. Your fingers are going to be all torn up. 
I am not complaining at all. Hey, that is awesome. Got him on the board. Flatheads already, bro. I know. <laughs> Heck yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, absolutely. You weren't lying when you said this was going to be a good spot. Mm -hmm. But then again, you know this river like the back of your hand. It's so crazy, man. Like, I'll navigate this at night. Really? Holy By crap. myself at night. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy, man. <laughs> Do you at least have headlights? <laughs> yeah, I have a uh, little couple of lights that I put out yeah. and a headlamp. Just, okay, yeah, turn here, go there. Okay, there's that tumbleweed. Okay, you gotta turn right here. <laughs> <laughs> Those are your stop signs and <laughs> <Yeah>. street signs. <laughs> Maybe we'll just edit, uh, we'll erase the footage so the sim don't get mad. <laughs> oh, we didn't catch it. <laughs> I hope the sim card is in here. <laughs> she took it out. <laughs> <laughs> She's on the list for, for ir sin me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Juicy spot. <laughs> is that the biggest fish you ever caught? Yeah. Like of all species? I think so. <laughs> nice. My biggest fish was a 40 inch muskie. Nice. And so that one right there topped it easy. And he was like from there to here, bro. And his tail was still yeah. curled up. Yeah. How wide is that? I have to measure it. But I think the, the it's 50 here. I think you're getting a bite. On the Deadpool or the white? On the white one. Again. Let's see. Good doing. Yeah, it's getting hit. Yeah. Oh, snug it in a little bit. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. This one's a wild one. A wild hooker. Yeah. Come towards me, baby. Right here. I got you. All you gotta do is open your mouth for me. <laughs> got him. Nice. There we go. Another nice flathead. <laughs> oh yeah, these guys are tanks. Get a picture these are some pretty guys. I'll get the hook out of his mouth. Check that out guys. Fourth one of the day. Fish number four. We're on them. Ooh. <laughs> he tried. He tried yep. <laughs> Gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> Good job, brother. Heck yeah, thank you, man. You got it, man. Tighten up that drag. Yep. Just yeah. right there. So along. <clears throat> Along those cattails underneath, yeah, where the root balls are, there's holes and caves and stuff. Oh, that's where they, they all sit. They hang out in there. Uh -huh. And sometimes you'll be sitting here, and you'll hear, you hear like a boom, and there it's the fish biting inside that cave. Oh, okay, He's, okay. But he hits the walls. And that's why you hear the it. Ground. Yeah. yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, because I know. Um, I know catfish will burrow themselves when the water gets low and they have a nice deep pocket there and that's where they sit till the water rises again. Mm -hmm. I can see them doing that here because there is a lot of a lot of cattails for them to maneuver in. 
Is that why that sound that you were that you were saying? That's a different one. <clears throat> That's when they're feeding on the surface. Oh, okay. And they inhale, but they're sucking some of that water in, so it makes that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But that other one, they're doing the same thing, but they're underwater. Yeah. But they hit the ground like it shakes. It just. It. Yeah. Uh, I I can see why you like catching these guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> the fight this is, is intense. This is my favorite favorite species right here. Even the smaller ones fight really good. Yeah. 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 Like I tell you, before this, the biggest one I ever caught was like 16 inches. <laughs> I caught him on a night crawler. I love being out here and it's so peaceful and quiet. Just you and Mother Nature, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is very peaceful back here. The other spot down there is kind of scary. <laughs> Just because you're on the bank. <laughs> but here on the boat, it's a lot, a lot more relaxing. Right. It's crazy how much current's coming through here. Yeah, a lot of current. Yeah. I'm yeah. glad you saved this river. Yeah. Dude, I didn't do it by myself, man. There's yeah. a lot of people that jumped in there and made it possible. A lot of emails were sent, a lot of phone calls were made. It, but it did take me putting that video out. Yeah. Because they weren't going to do anything about it. Yeah, man. You, I remember when you, uh, when you released that video, I'm like, what the heck? I haven't even had a chance to fish it. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to find it. <laughs> <laughs> Took a blindfold, but we're here. <laughs> <laughs> I owe you a phone, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I don't know if they make the Galaxy 5 anymore, but... I needed an upgrade anyways. <laughs> like you said, my live streams were glitching. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why now. <laughs> I think that was 2G. <laughs> if that. <laughs> I think that one still had the E on it. <laughs> That was a good one. <laughs> oh. oh there we go. Get now. Ah. Too soon, too soon. Oh. <laughs> yep, too soon. I should have waited. So there's this trick and I don't know if you heard about it or not, but if you wait ten seconds. <laughs> I recorded a video about that. Some YouTuber. <laughs> I actually recorded him talking about it. <laughs> I mean, you know, don't listen to me, bro. What do I know? Right? I mean, it ain't like you've been catching them forever. <laughs> no, it's... You get excited, man. I know. I got anxious on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm anxious to break this guy in. Yeah. Because this one, I already tested it out with that big old snag down down oh, the way. Yeah. I was fighting the current and pulling out that big old stick. And then it was like hooked right in the center. So it was long ways oh, the whole time I was fighting it upstream. <laughs> Had that nasty bend on it. It was working just fine. <laughs> and then I caught those nice blues on it. Broke it in with the perfect fish. And now the flatheads. These poles are awesome, dude. good quality poles whoever wins it on the giveaway is going to be a very happy camper for sure yep. i'm always talking about them i'm always giving you praise on these but there's a good reason why thank you brother i appreciate that for sure oh yeah well, i appreciate you bringing me out here man I know no, bro, you don't. I told you I'd bring you out, but I never said I'd take you back. <laughs> <laughs> so, so enjoy your last day out here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I think I got service here. <laughs> <laughs> I threw your phone, remember? <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, we're stuck. <laughs> We did. <laughs> I think that's why Grisel enjoys it so much because she likes um she likes to fish with the bobber. Oh yeah. She I fish for flatheads with bobbers. Really? Yeah, 
That's, Holy crap. <laughs> that's awesome. <clears throat> I have these big foam bobbers. Yeah. My guy stopped making them though. Like what I would do, so for example, like this spot, I'd rig it so it's the, it's the bobber, the weight, and then the hook, right? And then I'll pitch it, and then we'll come at night with glow sticks on the bobber. Oh, so there we'll you look, go. And I'll float it right up to the debris right there. And then I'll, I'll tighten the line so it just sits right there, and then the bait goes underneath. Oh, okay, and okay. It's just sitting right there, like, or in that little back pocket. Yeah. And you're just sitting here watching it, bro, watching it. All of a sudden, you just see that thing just go. <laughs> Sometimes it'll shoot water up. <laughs> where it pulls it up, where it pulls oh, it down. Yeah, yeah. Damn. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> You had a, didn't you have a pole takeoff? Oh, that was out at Eagle's Nest. Yeah. I had I had already maxed out my limit on trout, and Grisel was using it, and I told her about the pole holder. It wasn't in the ground right. Mm. Pero no me hizo caso, and I was off to the side, and all of a sudden, something started biting, and I told her, you're getting hit. And she pulled out her phone to, to record it, and as she's walking up recording, the pole gets sucked into the water. <laughs> So by the time I ran up, all I can see was the back end of the of the pole, and all I can see was that little cork getting sucked in slowly. And then I just took off gun, phone, wallet, <laughs> everything, keys. <laughs> everything was in my pocket. Awesome. I was probably like close to four feet of water when I decided to dive in and grab it. <laughs> that one time I was is he hitting oh yeah I'll give it the 10 seconds it's slacking up just snug it but don't, don't. he has it Oh, yeah. Get real down on him. There you go. Fish on. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Man, these guys are fighters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, bring your, your soap and your shampoo, bro. I know. I'm already showering. <laughs> First one on the Deadpool rod. Oh yeah. Ah. Got him. <laughs> Went deep in it. There we go. Orange, greenish orange, very nice. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna pick you fifth one of the day. Fifth fish. <whistles> one last look at him. Hello, wild hookers. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish, brother. Thank you, thank you. Broken the Deadpool. <laughs> This guy back in the water. There it goes. Very nice. Heck yeah. I waited the 10 seconds. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a video on it. <laughs> I had to rewatch it. <laughs> you want to stay here? Let's move spots. I think right. it's a good time to move spots. A new spot. It doesn't matter which spot Chris takes me to, we always seem to hook up on some nice ones. <laughs> this one's going to be a fight if it gets a big one on because I cast it down there. <laughs> he runs down. We'll chase him, bro. Oh, yeah. We'll play cops and robbers. <laughs> chase them down till we get them. That's a turtle, I think. No, I think that's a flathead, though. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. He's on. <laughs> Show. Right where you told me to. <laughs> After a while, you kind of know where to throw it. Oh, yeah. You know how to read the water back here? <laughs> He's trying to run. Yeah. Give me your mouth. <laughs> there we go. Holy crap. <laughs> Barely, huh? Dang. That guy was barely hooked. Look at that. By the whisker. <laughs> Another nice yellow one. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Oh, big one, man. Should have given a good old French. Big old mooch. <laughs> <laughs> They always have to splash. <laughs> they, do, man. They, want, they want the last word, bro. Oh, yeah. Job, Thank man. you, man. Yes, sir. What's that, six or what? That's six. Six already? Dang. Six already. Here we go. Off to the next spot. I got the weed guard in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> This is the web be gone. That's my cutting board, bro. I know, I've seen that. <laughs> That's awesome. So the Paula Smith, what inspired you to make that pull? Paula, Paula reached out to me. She was asking if I could uh, make a pull for her. And <clears throat> when she did, she her she had a uh, she was thinking more of like just a, like like I did the dead pull for you, like something custom for her. Yeah. But I told her I had been wanting to do a new line of rods, and what, I said, "What if I do your Paula Smith series?" And she was so happy with that. Man. She's uh, she's well known in Tennessee, for catching big old fish. She she probably weighs like ninety pounds, but she's catching like eighty-eight pound blue cats. Dang. <laughs> so so she's a local legend in her area over there. Heck yeah. And uh, yeah, I wanted to do something for for her, for for the female fishing community. There you go. That's awesome. Yeah, I didn't even know you had that that line right there until uh, Tail Slap told me about it. Mm -hmm. How many of different lines do you have besides the Paula Smith, the Flat, and the Blue? I have the Channel Cat Rod, or which is called the Catfish Rod. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a medium action. That's the only medium action rod I have. Mm. So it's the it's the flathead. And then I did the green handle flathead rod. And that one was that one I liked a lot. But I'm out I'm out of range. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Got him. Turtle, <laughs> Let me help you out. That's a keeper turtle. <laughs> Hooked him right on the neck too. Feed on my bait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, that guy was sitting there nibbling on it for a while. I had a whole dang carp on there. That's a good sized turtle. Right, they do stink, huh? Oh, yeah. 
Should I take him home? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about it. That's a good size right there. That one has a lot of meat. Uh, I'll just release him. <laughs> or maybe I could just take him and <laughs> get rid of our problem here. <laughs> yeah. I'm debating enough to take you home, buddy. <laughs> Just because um, it'll relieve some of our problems here. <laughs> what do you think? Should I let you go or should I keep you? Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let him go. That way he can reproduce. And then we're gonna double up here. Oh, there he is. Michonne, guys. Oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> He's a feisty little guy. Yeah, for the size, look at him. Pulling dragon everything. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> and then they close their mouth right when you're about to grab them. <laughs> there we go. Fish on. Check it out, guys. Got another fish in the boat. Healthy one. Pretty fish. Let's put him back. <laughs> they, they love, love to it. splash. Love <laughs> fish number seven. Dang. We're on fire today. There we go. Fish on. Ooh -wee. Let me see your camera, I'll turn it on for you. It's not turning on. There we go. Fish on, guys. Oh, here it comes. Woo! <laughs> there he is. Can I bring you in? I'm not done. No. Nope. Get over here. Get over here. There he is. <laughs> Another nice flathead, guys. Oh, yeah. I like these hooks, man. Those are some nice hooks. Are those your brand? No. Uh, I'll show you. Check that out, guys. <laughs> Heck yeah. Another nice one. Yes, sir. All right. Right back he goes. That's it. 
And that one didn't splash. <laughs> she didn't splash. <laughs> <laughs> Three for me. What? Five for you? Four for you? I already forgot. Uh, I <laughs> think it was four or five, something like that. I have to check the camera. <laughs> I already lost count. I lost count. Just as well. We started hooking up on all of them real, real quick. I think it was four, at least four. That was a nice one. Right in that pool. So how, how long have you had your channel, brother? I've had my channel for... Oh, spider. I've had my channel for a little bit over a year now. I think it's been a year going on a year and a month. That's awesome, man. What I like about your videos is you're you're all over the place, man. Like some you're in Colorado. I think that one spot you're saying somewhere in Colorado. And oh, when we're at Trinidad, Navajo Lake and Caballo and little spots here in New Mexico that I never even seen or heard of. Uh, yeah, and we we try to explore as much as we can. That's good, man. And then. Uh, multi-species yeah and it's funny because i grew up catching catfish on just a coke can and a and a line yeah and um that's all i ever knew and about four years ago we started multi-fish species multi-species fishing that's awesome but for all my life i just caught catfish is, is that your favorite or, or do you have a favorite species or i like catching crappie crappie yeah for some reason crappie are awesome they're fun to fight, they're fun to to catch, and they're awesome to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had crappie. I've never tasted it. Tastes really good. Yeah. I'm I'm a big fan of um, crappie and bluegill. Bluegill tastes really good, too. I've never eaten bluegill either because every time I catch a bluegill, I'm like... Bait. That's, that's like a 30-pound <laughs> flathead right there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so it's hard for me to eat it because I see it as bait. Yeah. But I hear they're really good. Yeah, they are. They're very tasty, and then they're so small, you can fry them up whole, and they're awesome to eat. Nice. I, um, I mean, I've, I've always been into catfishing. One of the best baits that I ever used was, believe it or not, snails. Snails? Yeah, I caught a bunch of snails one day when I was probably like 14, and I crushed them just to break the shell, mm -hmm. put them on a hook and threw them out. I had a 30-pound test, and I tied it to a tree. And I came back the next morning and my line was stretched out and snapped. Oh, wow. So who knows how big that channel was because it was a uh, channel cast that I was fishing for. Who knows how big it was, but it broke a 30-pound test. On snails, huh? Yeah. Every morning I'd come back and my lines would have fish. I could see that. But, yeah, I mean, it's just a learning process for us still. Like I said, I mean, we just started multi-fish, multi fish multi species fishing four years ago i get all tongue twisted <laughs> yeah. and who, who got you into fishing my dad yeah so my dad was a big fan of um going out and noodling and fishing on the river and we would use half a night crawler two hooks on that line and cast it out come back the next day or sometimes we'll just stay there all day him and his friends would go noodling and come back with a bunch of fish <laughs> And so, noodle? I tried it once. Yeah. Yeah, it was scary. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would touch the fish, and as soon as I would feel it, and it would move, I'd get scared and pull my hands back. <laughs> but um, I ended up catching a big carp one day. He was probably about that yeah. big. Yeah, he was a big one. I pinned him up against the bushes. I said, "The heck with it." Pinned him up and grabbed him by his gills and pulled him out, and then we took him home. And I think it was like ten of us that ate it. <laughs> nice. It was a big carp. We grew up eating catfish and carp. How do you make your carp? Like, do you have a recipe or a method or? A no, I mean, my my dad and his friends they would just uh, slice slice into it so it can cook evenly, and they would throw it on the disco. Mm. So then, as you're eating it, you can pick out all the bones. Mm -hmm. So everybody says that the carp are bony, and they are. But what it is is, some fish have Y bones. And carp, for some reason, have more than just a Y. So if you don't slice into those those uh, Y bones that they have, 
you can actually just pull it out and it pulls out all the other little bones. Oh, okay. So, and the meat is actually pretty tasty. It's nice and clean. Everybody sees them as trash fish, but they're actually really good eating fish. When I fillet them, because that's what I'll do is I'll fillet them off the off the skeleton. For, yeah. For bait, um, and I see that meat and it looks good. <clears throat> and I remember when I went I went fishing in uh, San Antonio mm -hmm. uh, with the with the friend of mine, Melo. He's a guide out there, and we caught some redfish, and he would fillet them. Pretty, very similar to how I fillet the car and they call it redfish on a half shell they leave the scales on one side and then you just throw them on the grill scale side down and put some butter and some seasonings man that comes out so good and every time I see the carp fillet like yeah. that I'm wondering if I could just grill it like that probably I mean it wouldn't be a bad idea because carp is actually really good it's very underestimated I'm um I was actually thinking of doing a catch clean and cook with the with the carp just to show people how how to cook them without um getting all those bones messed up in there. Yeah. That would be a good video cuz yeah. I know there's a lot of people that ask me about eating carp and they don't know how to how to deal with the bones and the only thing I've heard up until now that you told me is that people will make them like salmon patties. Yeah. And then the high pressure it makes the bone soft, and then you can eat it. Yeah. Uh, I've, people people have told me that they crush them, and um, I mean I've never I've never tried it crushed, but when you fry them, and if they're not too big, if you fry them whole, and get them nice and crispy, sometimes those bones will dissolve as well, and you only have that one big one, and every now and then you'll pull out a couple of small ones. But I'm gonna try. Uh, different ways to make them that way I can show everybody I'll, I'll do one in nuggets and then I'll do the other one in um and half like a uh, fillets hmm. well, there you go guys if I have any bait left over I might just cook it up <laughs> <laughs> heck yeah we haven't kept any fish so we're gonna have to uh do something with that bait <laughs> <laughs> just don't eat the shad bro oh no there you go. Something's going on with this. Ooh. I got action. He wants to take it down. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. There you go. oh, he dropped it. Ah. He dropped it. That big old shad head. He doesn't have bite marks on him, so it was a fish. Have to slide right through his lips. Ooh. So who got you into fishing? My dad. Yeah, my dad. He would uh, he would take me out ever since I was little. Um, we lived in West Texas from the age of five to fifteen, and he worked in the oil fields. And there was this place in in it's called the Bennett Ranch, and they had two ponds. And uh, oh, there it's flat, so you can see everywhere. You can see all the oil rigs and stuff. And my dad would take me to work with him, and he dropped me off. He dropped me off at one of the ponds, and I put a rod out for catfish because they had catfish and they had bass. And I'd put a rod out, some chicken liver, and I had, I'd give me another rod with a little rooster tail. And I'd be out there just casting and catching, you know, bass like that, and and big catfish to me at the time you know they were like this oh, big, yeah. you know, channel cats just having a good old time i could see my dad's white truck driving around and then he'd come back and pick me up and i did that and then 
you know, we moved back over here and stuff, and we he'd take us to Caballo Lake, Elephant Butte, and I'd be out there messing around and just, just having fun, man. Just always been outdoors, always been camping, so I've always enjoyed it. I've always had that passion for fishing. My my parents told me that uh, when I was little that they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't they wouldn't, uh, <laughs> they wouldn't tell me we we're going fishing because I would be up all night, like, all excited, excited. excited, and then I get up super early and go wake them up. Is it time to go yet? Is it time to go yet? And so they'd have to surprise me. And I I and I used to fish for all kinds of species and. Bass, I would fish for bass. I had a big old tackle box full of lures, you know, and I use all these different lures and stuff. And, and I started getting burnt out because I, I remember I caught, I think probably my biggest bass at the time was probably like five pounds or so. And I, got, I kind of started thinking, I said, you know what? No matter how much I fish for these bass, I'm probably going to catch nothing much bigger than this, you know? Uh -huh. And even if I do, it's not going to be like, excessively big you know maybe you never know but odds are probably not so then I was, I was like go catfish <laughs> don't know if it's gonna be five or ten or fifty you know and so I kind of started looking more into catfish and I think what really got me hooked on catfishing was that to me was the first big catfish I ever caught I was um, I was probably about 15, 16, we we're fishing at Caballo, um, below the dam, I was with my cousin, and if you've been out there where the water comes out, the water comes out and there's like a, there's like a, a peninsula that comes out, and then on the other side there's a, a the back spillway, yeah. so there's that point that comes out, so me and my cousin, we took our bait and our rods and we jumped the fence and went on to that point. And we were fishing and messing around, having fun, and I had run out of bait. And I was like, oh, I don't want to walk all the way back to the truck. We're here, we're way over here, you know. And so I was trying to figure out how to get bait. And it's it's one of those things where you you don't know what you're doing. You just end up doing the right thing by pure chance. And that's what happened that day was I had run out of bait. I'm like, what could I use for bait? And I was looking in the water. And I could see these minnows swimming, and I didn't know what they were. They were threadfin shad, you know? Oh, and I didn't know it at the time. I could see like a school, and they'd swim up, and then they'd swim back. And then they'd swim up, and they'd swim back. And I'm like, hmm, they, they keep crossing through here, so maybe I could catch them somehow. So I had a mesh hat on, you know? I like, <laughs> so I sat down in the water, and I put the, I remember I put the, the net, I mean the, the hat right in my lap like that. And I just sat real still, man. Just sat there, and I could see them. Here they come, and then they, they get to me, and then they go. And they come up, they come a little bit closer, and then they go. <laughs> and they be, finally they got enough confidence, and they swim across, and boom, I scooped. Probably like five or six, right? I was like, oh, cool, I'll use these for bait. So that was the dumb luck one, because <laughs> now I'm using shad for bait. Yeah. I just, I just ran out of bait. Otherwise, I'd be using chicken liver or whatever I had. So then the dumb luck number two is I got my bait and I hooked it on and I just I just said I throw it over here and I threw it downstream. Well where I ended up throwing it was the perfect current scene where the where the fast water meets the slow water and that's where the fish like to hang out. Oh yeah. So I threw that I threw the line out and I just propped my rod up on a rock right there. Like whatever. Well the third dumb luck thing was I'm out there hanging out with my cousin, messing around, throwing rocks, doing whatever, you know. And all of a sudden, boom, my rock gets hit, and it starts sliding down the rocks. I was like, <laughs> oh, shoot, so I'm running. And my rock is just taking off. And luckily, there was this big rock, and it wedged. It wedged right there, it got hooked. And I grab it, and I pick it up, and I'm really in. Now, of course, I didn't have a big fancy rod. It was just yeah. a Walmart special, but it was like kind of like this fish that was taking drag earlier. I'm, I'm fighting this fish and I'm reeling in and like I'm fighting them and, and I'm fighting them for a while to the point that the people on the other side start gathering like a crowd right <laughs> and they're watching me and I'm fighting I'm fighting and I'm reeling in and finally finally I, I reel this fish in and it was a ten and a half pound uh, blue cat 
Ooh. And when I grab them, I pick them up, and then the people, are like, yeah, yeah, and I just felt like a rock star, bro, with my ten pound fish. I was like, yeah. I remember we went to the we went to the bait shop, and they took my picture, and they hung it hung it on the wall, and everything, and and that day I was like, hmm, that was the biggest catfish I ever caught, you know. Yeah. And then like, it just made me focus on catfish after that. Like I didn't I didn't even care about any other fish really, like. I just wanted to see if I can get the next bigger one, the next bigger one, and the next bigger one. That's what got me going was, was that 10-pound fish that day at Kalaya. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. How old were you? I was probably like 15. 15? Somewhere there, 15, 16. Yeah, it's crazy the way we all come about um, our fishing adventures or our love for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm getting hit. Getting hit on the dead pole? Yeah. I just missed one. Yeah, he's getting hit over here. Oh. No, he's there. Oh, he's there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Show yourself. Yep. Oh, he's over here. <laughs> guy's gonna do whatever he wants with me. <laughs> so you wanted to break in the dead pool rod? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> did he hang me up? So. Oh yeah, he did. <laughs> Give him a little bit of slack, see if he'll pull out. Oh, we're gonna have to go swimming. <laughs> Too much no. Oh, we can go. What? We can go over there. We can go to him. Reel, reel in your rod. Yeah. I'll reel in mine. Yeah, you don't want to lose that guy. He's still on there. Uh, it's uh about six feet. <laughs> <laughs> Get up there. Oh, he's fooling. He, yeah, I think he did. Yeah, he did. He's out. started cramping. <laughs> you broke off my weight. Did he? Oh no, it's right there. I thought he did. I can see why you love catfishing. <laughs> this guy down. So we can see him. Oh. Damn. This one looks wider than the other one. The other one was a little longer. Check this fish out, guys. 
Another monster. <laughs> Another muddy river flathead. What you think, bro? Oh, this is awesome, man. <laughs> I'm even look at. <laughs> oh. Damn. This is awesome. <laughs> there you go, man. Good job, brother. Thank you. Yes, sir. I was about to get in the water for him. <laughs> Awesome, man. Heck yeah. Thank you, man. You got it, brother. Whew. I was getting ready to swim. <laughs> yep. Get our baits back out. <laughs> he tangled me up pretty good. He did. But it's okay. <laughs> I'm surprised he got out of there. Yeah. I saw the way he went in, so I'm thinking he, if he goes backwards, he'll come out. <sighs> I'm gonna go after him. Right there, right in that little deep pocket. Damn. These guys put up a fight. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> now you know, that's that's how you know you had a good day of flying fishing. Oh, yeah. Damn, that's awesome. Let's see if there's another one in that same pocket. Holy crap. Never expected to catch these guys. Oh no. I'm still up for more. <laughs> Holy crap. Whoo! Heck yeah. Awesome. Oh, I spilled out. Oh, no, he's on. Ooh. Oh, I lost him. Ah. Oh, yeah. Your spool opened up, huh? Yeah. yeah. He's still here. There he is. Maybe we'll stick around for a minute. <laughs> we'll wait a little longer. <laughs> All right, you guys. We had a lot of fun out here. Caught a bunch of flats. It was awesome. Thank you, Chris, so much for everything. You got it, man. It was awesome being back here with you. It was nice hanging out with you, getting to know you a little bit better. Likewise, brother. Thank you so much for everything, man. Right. Thanks to you. I appreciate all the support, and you're always shouting me out, and, and uh, you know, my products and everything, and it's always speaking highly of me, man. So I, I, I truly appreciate everything you do for me. Yeah, for sure, man. Thank you. I wouldn't be uh, recommending your polls or anything if I didn't uh, believe in the product and today we tested them a lot more than I've already tested them and they're awesome. Thank you, man. I appreciate I, that. Yeah, I deeply appreciate you bringing me out here and showing me the ropes back here. I mean, all we've ever done is fish a couple of spots that we can access by foot. And I mean, being out here on the boat is just, it's a whole different feel. <laughs> it's awesome. Hooked up on those big ones and my hands all tore up but i love it those are battle wounds <laughs> yes sir <laughs> thank you so much for everything if you guys are looking for guided services you know hit up chris flores he'll take you guys out to the butte or to um caballo lake and put you guys on some big blues out there so hit them up thank you brother muddy muddy river catfishing.com that's me thank you guys for watching <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe mm -hmm.